To start the installation of the M177 LS2 intake, we need to take off the plastic OEM covers by lifting up on each corner. Using a 7mm socket, we are going to remove the intake couplers and the hoses. With a flathead screwdriver, we need to gently guide the hoses off of the turbos. Moving on to the factory airboxes, we're going to remove the airbox pressure sensors and the bypass valve on both sides. With the sensors and bypass valve disconnected, we can now remove both factory airboxes by pulling upwards on each end. Once the OEM airboxes are out, we need to remove both bypass valves with the T23 Torx bit and relocate them to the new airbox. You'll need a 3mm hex bit to tighten down the supplied screws that hold down the bypass valves. If you selected the optional VTA adapters, we need to remove the top part of the bypass valve with a T30 Torx bit. The VTA adapters will only go on one way. Make sure all three holes line up correctly by having the adapters in the right orientation. The supplied bolts that come with the VTA need to be tightened down with a 5mm hex bit or key. Using a 10mm socket, we can remove these four airbox ball mounts located here, 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 and here. We need to remove the factory couplers. These are glued on and will require a 90 degree pick or any tool that can help you with this process. Once both sides are removed, we can now place the new couplers provided in the kit. Firmly press down on the couplers to have a solid seal with the PVC system. Tightening these clamps requires a 6mm socket or a flathead screwdriver. The YSEC airbox has four openings designed to install directly over the four ball mounts we removed earlier. Line these up along with the two remaining ball mounts until you hear them click into place. We provided four new M6 bolts that can be tightened down with a 10 mm socket. Once the airbox is properly mounted, you can now reconnect both bypass houses. The OEM airboxes have air pressure sensors that we need to transfer over to the new system. To do this, simply twist the sensors to remove them from the factory airbox, and once removed, you can now place them in their new location by twisting them back into place. At this point, you can now reconnect the pressure sensors and the bypass valves. In the kit, we provided two sets of vacuum lines that you would need to measure out from the red intake tube to the vacuum line adapters and cut. Repeat this step for both sides. You can now insert the red tubes and connect the vacuum lines, then attach the intake filters and tighten down all the clamps. Make sure you don't over tighten the clamps or you could damage the intake tubes in the process.
And finally, we can attach the provided airbox covers to complete the system. If you have any questions, please feel free to give us a call or email us at tech at wisetech.com.